Are you signed right now? No. I'm not so, signed. I'm independent. I'm, I'm cyber signed. I'm curious. So so you're not signed because you know a lot of I'm, Bruh, I got, listen, I wanna make this I wanna make this clear. This is a great thing that you just said is because everybody thinks that I'm signed to a label and I'm not signed what to label? that label. I don't even wanna say it right now, but I'm not signed to the label. <laughs> Listen, no, 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 and I ain't gonna do that because I got respect for them. You know what I'm saying? But it's a I'm not signed. Okay, that's all I'm gonna say. So, all right, so, but because a lot of niggas be clear saying, the confusion. A lot of niggas be saying they they not signed. They independent. Whole time they signed to Empire. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was it. my bad. <laughs> no, no, I'm no, just saying. No, 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 a lot no. of these niggas talking about they that's independent. They signed hell. to Empire. That's You're not independent, bro. You you Inside. You're not independent if you're with Empire. Like, I'm sorry, you're giving out a bag. That's, I'm gonna let you know that now. <laughs> like, and I'm I not know. a rapper, I'm sorry. Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Mr. J. Hill, and welcome to another episode of the J. Hill Podcast. But right now, I want to give a special thank you and shout out to our sponsor, that's Top Dog Law. So look, man, if you're suffering from medical malpractice, a slip and fall, especially a car accident, make sure you call my guy Top Dog Law. That's Top Dog Law on Instagram and topdoglaw.com. Look, if you check out his Instagram, you'll see he uploading big checks. I mean, like, every day. I ain't talking about the little ones. The big ones. So shout out to my guy, Top Dog Law, topdoglaw.com. Get that money. I know I'm trying to get it. Yo, what's poppin'? You know what time it is? We're Mr. J Hill, J Hill Podcast. Uh, I feel like um, we do artists so much, but I feel like we ain't doing artists in a second, right? We've been having a bunch of coaches and entrepreneurs and a bunch of selling, a bunch of courses. And shit. Like, <laughs> I'm tired. God damn, man. So I'm back in my element <laughs> right now. They're Special courses. guests. Yeah, like, <laughs> It's, like, it's, it's Atlanta, bro. Everybody getting money. Everybody yeah, selling facts. something. Everybody, you know what I'm saying? Like, everybody coaching. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my guys. Nah, shout out to everybody. They getting to it. They helping people get to it. You feel me? But this is a little different. You know what I'm saying? But I got a special guests in the building. Um, uh, I'm right to my left. Fiji McIntosh is here. Yeah, for sure. Um, one of the the things I wanted to talk to you about. I'm gonna get straight to it. For sure. So I think we said with Sprat. I'm gonna put him on. Mark Mark Sprat. Mark my right. Dog Mark. Shout out so, Mark, man. So he hit me. Setting this up, yeah, he hit me like, yo, let's <laughs> let's do the interview or whatever. And he was saying, like, he was just telling me about the ties with um Trippy Red. Yeah, my cousin. But my I'm curious, right? The first thing I thought, I'm like, all right, do I come in this interview and talk about Trippy Red? Cause like I'm assuming that first <laughs> hey, of all, bro, I, everybody be they always ask me questions about bro. And I give all the answers. Um That's not annoying though. Like you ain't get over Sometimes it'd be like, 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 damn, you know, I want to talk about something else. Like, but I don't really care because that's my family. You know what I'm saying? It but really I, don't matter. I, so I say that I ask that because like usually like you we think about um maybe not the highest of like LeBron or Deion Sanders, but usually when we have like a successful parent, mm. the child is doing everything. Not saying that that's your cousin, but usually like when you can you tie to somebody that's super successful, mm. you're trying to do everything in your power to get away from that person, like <laughs> to make your own yeah. name type. No, it's not like that. Cause like I got my own stuff. I got cyber, you know what I'm saying? I represent my own stuff, but at the end of the day, you know, we unify. People know that. Mm. So it ain't like, it ain't a bad thing. But no, I do got, got my own platform. Yeah, yeah. And it's, it's probably easier, though, because the, a lot of his, he, I think he even said it, like, he got a lot of inspiration yeah. from you. Yeah, so it probably sure. is easy for you to be yeah, like. Yeah, it's not nothing to me. Yeah, like, yeah, I'm yeah, happy yeah. I'm happy for him. I'm happy for everything that, that's going on for us. So. Another thing that was Absolutely. interesting that I wanted to talk, because it's different for me, the type, like, we talk, it's hip-hop, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I feel like one thing... In, in this space, this music space, especially in the black space, we say, like, hip-hop and R&B, right? Mm -hmm. But not understanding, like, it's even depth to the hip-hop. It is. And I feel like the, the music that you make is still hip-hop, but what would you even categorize if you had to give it a subcategory? Man, uh, if this was a category, non-distinguishable. Like, everything. Like, just, mm. like, that's the type of that I make. I make everything. Like, you can't just put me in one box. You know what I'm saying? I want to reach the world. Not just the streets or not just so forth, you know, college yeah. kids or whatever. I want everybody. It's funny because, like, but I would, it's still like, like, not a genre, but it's a like, certain group okay, of people like who make this type of, yeah, yeah, like alternative rap there or like, go. you know what I'm saying? People say hyper pop. I don't like that word. That's where that, that's like a, I don't know. That's where that come from? I don't even know. They created it like the internet. And uh, yeah, everybody goes with it, I guess. But 
I just call it vaporwave aesthetic music, like Tumblr mm. music or like game, you know, game, video yeah. game vibe music. Type yeah. shit. So you, you enter like video games a lot? Yeah. Uh, I mean, like fighting games and shit like that, like, you know, Tekken and but I could uh, never get into Mortal like Kombat. video games. For real? I could never get into it. Yeah. I would, In probably. college, you ain't play no video games? Uh-huh, bro, I, I used to play Madden a little bit, but you like, you okay, I'm about to say something. Bro, I was like, bro, I'm like, I'm from like, I always say this, I know they tired of me saying it, but I'm from the project, so I was like a oh, badass yeah, sure, kid. Sure. I probably got led, I'm mad as hell, I ain't checked before I turned 21, I could've got a bag. <laughs> like, it's just, you feel me, like, I feel Damn. like, I couldn't, like, I, and how I was playing the game, I was outside playing Madden on yeah. Concrete, like, it was yeah. dead, like, no cap, we Not played NFL Streets for real. Facts, like, facts, facts, facts. So, like, I never could get into the I was the doing games. both, yeah, outside yeah. and inside. But I ain't gonna lie to you though. I kind of wish I would have got into it though. Bro, it's fun, bro. Like that. Yeah. Goddamn. I mean, when you ain't got nothing to do and you just chilling, like it's it's fun. But other than that, I'll be working in the studio. But even outside of that, like not to, I always take it here. But like even on some like mental health, to be mm -hmm. honest, right? Facts, bro. Like during the um the pandemic, my 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 fiance don't watch this, shit, so she ain't gonna kill me. She ain't gonna. But like I would like. <laughs> We used to, I'm in a relationship, so shit is real. Back. So we used to like go back and forth sometimes, and That's I'd be real. so frustrated, right? Meanwhile, my homies is on a game, like yeah. talking to each other, like uh, they politicking and shit. I'm like, duty. you feel me? Like they, 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 <laughs> they only had no stress. They with the, the earphones right. on because I never got into it. I could never, like, I was never into that shit. So I'm just stuck next to my uh, fiance, just yeah. bickering and shit. Facts, and that's that's another thing that is good for us, just like having an escape time. And, nah, facts. You know what I'm saying, I getting that edge that. off a little bit. Nah, facts. I wish I'd have got to say. Everybody get on that Call of Duty, be screaming and shit like. Nah, be uh, Especially the white boy. Call yeah, it. bro. They, they be on there. <laughs> hey, listen, they get on there and say everything that's in their heart. Like, nah, facts. Everything. Kill you, n Yeah, you like. Broke black n Bro. And I be like, what? <laughs> like, I had to mute my <laughs> for a second. I might have to block that nah, out. <laughs> nah, it's true, though. That's what they do. I swear to God. That's nah, what they facts. do. Call of Duty and Grand Theft Auto is like the most uncensored. Chat rooms in the world, bro. Mm. The worst. Yo, I feel like I, I I was looking up like interviews if y'all didn't see too many. Yeah, I don't really be doing interviews. I have done interviews, but I just I man, couldn't find like I I, I looked. Trying. I couldn't find yeah, a lot. I don't nothing a probably. No, it's no. I do have interviews like with, probably, Ma with Mass yeah. Appeal and like oh, X, yeah. Double XL and shit like that. The written ones or is that video? Cause I like I know you got written ones. Uh yes. Yeah, I, I didn't. I think I, didn't I know see you're no videos, about. bro. For real? I probably saw one, like an old one, like really old. No, I got yeah, it's they, they like old. super old. They are old. And I, I ain't did I haven't did interviews in like two years. All right, so I gotta get to the cliche real quick. We gotta yeah. work. We gotta work. No, so for sure. the type of music you got, like we hear how you inspired Trippy Red, mm -hmm. right? Like mm -hmm. you got music with um Lil B. Hell yeah. Uh, it's a few, like you really in your bag. Like mm -hmm. I know a little bit. I've definitely did some research. So. No, you're for sure, for sure. But I'm curious to know what got you into it. Oh man, my brothers. My brothers got me into it. Um, OSB, Ohio State Bread. They was making music before I came out the womb. Mm. And like um, that really inspired me because they was really trying to go hard and take it to the next level out of Canton. And it's like no resources in Canton. Mm. So just to see them and they put me into like this culture and Canton, you know, Ohio. Canton, Ohio, yeah. Okay, okay. They put me into the culture and, you know what I'm saying, got me aware of all of this. Like I grew up listening to Dipset Jeezy and Lil Wayne and, you know what I'm saying, TI because of them. And yeah, that's really why I do it though, because mm. they put me onto it. So like right now, you know, I, um, I just asked my else this. Uh, you know, they say like the moment I'm 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 uh, stop having fun with, I'll be done with it. Facts. I feel like that's kind of like I don't know but, if I like but, that. But like work is not supposed to be fun. Sometimes I mean, even though you supposed to like have fun, but this is ultimately a job you signing up for because mm. you got to be here early. You got to be on time with everything. You got to be hands on. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's you gotta be able to multitask. That's mm -hmm. the. F not, yeah. and that's why I was asking. Like, I was wondering, like for you, that like, is a job in this. F so. Yeah, like you go <laughs> this rollout. You got the project dropping, right? Mm -hmm. Um, nocturnal. Mm -hmm. So I'm it's out to, right now. It's out right now. Yeah. You can go cop that. Go get that. Um, and that's the project with Lil B. You got Lil B. You got Trippy. Uh, Trippy Red on there. Dom Corleo, Highway. Yeah. Going crazy, yeah. I nah, tapped okay. in a lot. Listen, nah, for sure, for sure. I tapped in, bro. I <laughs> at first I I'm like, but I tapped. That's nah, the one thing yeah. I do like about this space because like, it does like it gives me 
more range to know more people. Like Thanks. I probably would have never listened to the music, but the fact that I had the interview, I had to do my due diligence to 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 get do the to research. Know, to know who. So it now is. it's like, oh, I'm tapped in. That's somebody else I know about. I can share that's, somebody else with, right? Yeah, that's hard. Going that's back to the work though. That's what it's supposed to be like though. Nah, facts. Shit, new people finding it and facts with it, or if they don't, just fuck it, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't give. A fuck, you know? Yeah, facts. I'm the worst. You can't like, cause I don't give like. Anyway, going back to the to the work, right? Mm -hmm. How is that for you now? Like, cause now, like, you got Man. the project, and you got like, like, yeah, we talk about this cousin, shit, but like, you got tracks with Trippy Red. Like, this is a superstar. So like, mm -hmm. you automatically in this realm. Like, people are saluting you, they Triple are. X. Like, people like, yeah, finally they giving flowers. Now. Yeah, so it gotta come with some some hardships now. Yeah, bro. Really, the, the main thing is like just like. Cause now I'm getting prepared for tour and like being away from home and like my family, my girl and shit like that. That's like the main thing. And not getting no sleep, which is I'm cool with that too at the end of the day. But that's like the only thing. And like not really when you're on that road, bro, you do not eat good, bro. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's one thing too. Like I, I'm really big on like my health and keeping shit together. Wait, so. and you like you're super young. You like yeah, I'm 22. 22. Yeah. I was gonna say 24. Damn. No, no, not saying nah, nah, it's, no, cool. I thought, nah. it's cool. People think I'm older all the time. Bro, all bro. this is fresh, bro. I just did like yeah, research, exactly. like I'm fresh out the books in like like 15 minutes. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I thought it was 24, it's 22. Yeah, I'm 22. Damn, like you got how long you been with your girl? Three years. You gonna cut this part? No, I'm nah, nah. We, yeah, we good. <laughs> I'm about to say, wait, what? Three years, bro. Damn. Yeah. Nah, I ain't gonna lie to you. At 24, going on tour. Sheesh. Alternative rap, that's what you call it? <laughs> yeah. Doing the raves and <laughs> No cap. Hey, you you about to love this man. Nah, yeah. She, she got to love this man, cuz. I, I mean, I she knows you know, she, she knows she's secure, though, you know? Like, at I, 24? I'm 20, 22. I'm 22? <laughs> yeah. That's worse. No? <laughs> she's yeah. secure of what? She's secure of knowing that I'm coming home. Okay. And we got the spot together. Like, it ain't nothing that I'm hiding. I ain't got to die. Is, is that hard? Like, no, a relationship it's not music. hard, like, when you know what you want or you know, like, this is, like, this feel right. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, I've already been in a relationship and I understand, like, what's, what's not needed and, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what about red flags. Saying? Uh, 2020. You're 22, so. <laughs> <laughs> like, you said, no, I mean, hey, bro, life be moving fast, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's all I can say. <laughs> like, be moving fast. Don't let me troll you, bro. <laughs> bro. Uh, stay faithful. But nah, listen, thing. listen. It's okay, bro. It's okay. What's okay? To do live your life. Do it how you wouldn't do it. Like, what? I mean, you live and learn. Whatever it is, you're gonna live and learn. Okay. What's the what's the most impactful thing you learned from having being in, in relationships? Um, make sure that the spot you in is your spot. Like as the house mm -hmm. slash apartment slash condo whatever whatever it is. Why? Wow. It's a lot of different things. Uh, you don't want nobody to get mad at you and just be like, "Hey, get the f out." That's one. Man, that's some twenty-two year old thinking. I mean, Let me tell yeah, you why. it is, but still, that that shit happens to older people that I know. It, it don't wonder why. How done it? <laughs> tell me, put me <laughs> hey, on. Put me on. <laughs> for old, no cap. You know these girls are way smarter than that. These women are way... So, you do know it for the most part. I'm not an uh, uh, expert at this, but mm -hmm. I think like in damn near every state in the world, somebody can correct me if I'm wrong. If somebody stand with you and they get mail for over, what, 60 days? You can't just put them out anyway. And well, girls is going hey, for national ways. They're going <laughs> to let you know. Like, I ain't going nowhere. Hey, but listen. Nobody, I need 60 day notice. Nobody be knowing that. Nobody be knowing that. And, and on top of that, the people that I know, I mean, like, it just be hard going on. Like, you got to make sure that you both have goals and shit so y'all can have time separate to miss each other, too. No, like, when you around somebody so much, bro, like, that's what causes the conflict. Just mm. being around so much to where y'all don't miss each other, have nothing new to talk about and mm. like that. Like, that's kind of what my last relationship showed me. And just exploring more, mm. like getting out. Hey, let's go here. Let's go to Hawaii. No, Shit like that. You know what I'm saying? It's got to be interesting. No, once it get it. boring, that's when both of y'all just be like, man, that's some real game coming from you. Like from a, no, you know some real, saying? some real players to keep. How you got always keep dating? Because if you don't keep dating, it's oh, what's this out there. The facts. You feel what I'm saying? Like who's in them DMs <laughs> right now? And in the moment you slip up, bro, you're 
My boy, you, you, you know what I'm saying? Everybody out here skimming and what? You might swoop up. The what? Especially during the pandemic, it was Fact. bad. It was horrible. You do something, boy. Horrible. Them was blowing them stimulus checks up. Man, what? Nah, they, facts. They giving cards away. Nah, facts. No cap. Yo, this episode is sponsored by the Morning Meetup. Man, shout out to my guy David Shines, man. He's probably one of the few people I know who actually built multiple multi-million dollar businesses, right? He created the Morning Meetup to help other entrepreneurs do the same thing. Now listen, as an entrepreneur myself, I know how hard it can get, especially when we start making money and we get to like this financial cap that we can't get past. And honestly, let's be real. They say it ain't what you know, it's who you know. We probably can't get past this cap because we either, one, outgrew the people around us, or two, we just being lazy and weighing in the rooms we need to be in. It's just plain and simple. But trust me, this is your time because the morning meetup is that room we got to be in. It's filled with, filled with entrepreneurs getting to it. They reading different books every month, right? They holding each other accountable. And it's just honestly just something dope to be a part of. So listen, if you're an entrepreneur and you're trying to get to this bag, you're trying to flourish more than you've been flourishing now, you got to go to the morningmeetup.com. That's www.themorningmeetup.com and join now. Let's get to it. I'll see you there. So, yo, like, how, like are you, tours coming up? Yeah, um, sure. Who you going to tour with? Uh, Tyler Yahweh, a Post Malone artist. That's fire. Okay. Yeah. Rockstar how, are you, how, shit. You, how are you preparing for this tour? <sighs> Man, bro, I'm about to get in the gym, get the running, get my cardio up. Cause that's the main thing I need. I got asthma and shit, so mm, I just got to make sure. Shit. Yeah, I got to make sure I can breathe right. That's all. Nah, Cause that, the performing part, like that's I already got that down. You ever been on tour before? Yeah, what's I've been on two tours: Comethazine tour and um, what's bro's name? Damn, Smoky Margella, free Smoky Margella, bro. Smoky Margella, he's ASAP Rocky artist. Okay, okay, you giving me game? You teaching me? Yeah. Something. I'm on Comethazine, uh, Young Bands, he with Future. Yeah, I'm googling uh, all these, these young niggas. <laughs> these, I'm yeah, saying, everybody, I'm all of us all, is young. I'm really yeah. an old nigga for no real, so like at heart. So like, but yeah, I've been on a few tours. Niggas gonna kill me too. Like you don't know. No, I don't know. Nah, nah, it's cool, bro. Cause like it's cool. We in Atlanta, so this you need to know this. Nah, facts. Like, I do. <laughs> I'm two years in though. I'm fresh, bro. You got nah, nah, nah. Grace. You good. Your shit I, up there though. I appreciate two it. Two years, you did yeah. a great job. Nah, I appreciate bro. it, my brother. I appreciate congratulations. it. Congratulations. Nah, congratulations to you, nigga. What's the best? What's the mo the, the part that you're looking most forward to when it comes to the tour? <sighs> Man. The you crowd. got a girl, so it can't be the host. I was no no no. <laughs> I'm sorry. I would say the crowds. Um, damn, the crowds in the cities, like, cause I ain't been to these cities in a minute, so I want to like relive that type of feeling and just see it again, the downtowns and shit. So I'm curious, cause like you were like in the middle, like I interview like, like superstars, right? Then I mm -hmm. interview like people that's coming up, but like mm -hmm. you still like you lit, like I'm like right in the yeah, right there in the middle, like yeah. you lit, like your Grammys, you got like two hundred and something 20, thousand. Twenty one, twenty one. See, bro, 21, I know a little something. You feel me? Yeah. yeah. When you go on these tours, are you trying? <laughs> like, said two hundred. The cat. You know what I'm saying? When you go on these things, are you still trying to like get followers and shit? Like, cause I'm, I would I'm trying to, like I said, I'm trying to reach the world. I don't think two hundred is enough. You know what I'm saying? I think like I will feel a little bit more satisfied when I'm on my own mm. tour, and I got like the numbers I really want. Are you signed right now? No. I'm not so, signed. I'm independent. I'm, I'm cyber signed. I'm curious. So so you're not signed because you're not a lot of niggas. Bruh, I, listen, I want to make this niggas, I want to make this clear. This is a great thing that you just said, is because everybody thinks that I'm signed to a label and I'm not signed what to that label. label. I don't even want to say it right now, but I'm not signed <laughs> to that label. <laughs> listen, no, 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 no. And I ain't gonna do that because I got respect for them. You know what I'm saying? But it's a I'm not signed. Okay? That's all I'm gonna say. So all right, so but because a lot of niggas be Clear saying the confusion. A lot of niggas be saying they they not signed, they independent whole time, they signed to Empire. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was it. my bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm no, just saying. No, no, a no. lot of these niggas That's be talking about they That's independent, they signed to Empire. That's you're not independent, bro. You're, you're not, fucking signed. You're not independent if you're with Empire. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, they're giving out a bag. That's, I'm, I'm gonna just let you know that now. <laughs> Like, cause I'm not I a know. rapper. I'm sorry. Yeah, they giving out. They giving out. They giving out a couple giving dollars. Out, they giving out something. Yeah. So, uh, but I'm curious. Going that route, route like mm -hmm. you independent. Mm -hmm. Why niggas not really, especially like yourself, putting in that 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 grind to like do a tour by yourself? Cause you could do it. Yeah. Uh, bro, that shit come with so much budgeting and shit that I need right now. Like I need that. I need that type of budget to get. The travel and all of that in order. That shit mm. costs a lot to do a tour. I mean, you know, spirit is like cheap for real. You could, but like, even that costs, bro. 
like say if I wanted to do 20 cities, I could do 20 cities, but still like if if it's three of us, that's you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That's 15 or that's 1200 or I was, everyone. I was asking that because I feel like niggas like yourself and like niggas in the middle, I feel like that's such a hard space to that's, be in. That's the main thing, just budgeting, bro. That's the difference between an independent artist and a major artist. But outside of the budgeting though, right? Outside I'm gonna I'm 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 cut the excuses, right? Just for conversation. Mm -hmm. I feel like being in the middle is hard to do things that you would do if you was at the bottom, for example. Mm -hmm. Like a nigga at the bottom, he probably do a show with 20 people. 10, 15 people. Yeah. But because you had the experience of having so much success, do you think that sometimes hinder you though? Like, nah, I ain't doing no nah, show. No, I would do people. a show for 20 people or 10 people. But I just want the experience to be right, if that mm -hmm. make any sense. Like I want the I want to make sure that the the vision with everything, the music and experience in the show goes together mm -hmm. for the fans. Like I don't want to just give them no half ass shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's the main thing. That's the main thing that's stopping me right now. But after this, after this tour, I feel like I'll be ready to do my own tour. Okay. You know what I'm saying? All right. Yo, it just be like steps. What's something that the fans that um you think you wish they knew about you, but you probably think they don't know about you? Man, bro, people think I'm an asshole. For real? Yeah, bro. I don't know why, but like I'm really genuine, bro. It's like you came in here with a cool face. You was cool. Bro, I'm, I'm chill as hell. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Like people think cool. I'm an asshole though, like the internet. Bro, and, they, okay. and they be thinking like I worship the devil and shit. Like all this weird I mean, ass I shit. Mean, I don't it's even probably know the, the hair though, that, bro. Yeah, like, but I don't even know. Like, you never met me, so yeah. like, you know, that's and the, the only, music. The, that's the only thing, bro. And the music, bro. People the music be, is sometimes it get dark. I mean, but I don't, I don't talk about shit that's like, hey, bro. No, I All don't right, go I'm there. Saying, let's take a little bit of accountability. Let's but not yeah, just be I can, I can, I can understand like the aesthetic and okay, okay, I'm on some rock star shit. But no, bro. Because I mean, I believe Uzi in Vert God. Around here. Now that's another level. I fuck with Uzi too. Like I actually did a few spot dates on his first tour, and he's cool as fuck. Like mm -hmm. even people think he works with though. He really don't. No, I'm you know just. I can see why people. Would but think why that. they would though? Because yeah, he actually it. be saying things that like will make you think that. Speaking but, of shows, where he's probably. I can't make this up. Top three shows I've ever saw in person. For sure. And you know who's up there? You probably wouldn't, wouldn't even, this is far out of this lane. Young Jeezy. Damn. Crazy. I wouldn't even expect that one to come in. You 22 this. though, I get it. But like, it's lit like that <laughs> though. It's, cause like, this so, shit is it's going too, crazy so, so, like that. So yeah, so for me, it's nostalgic. So like, okay, I see Lil Uzi and, and, and Young Jeezy is like, probably like, uh, shit, far and few yeah. in between. It's like not even nowhere yeah. near the same. Yeah. So the experience that I'm getting from young, from Lil Uzi, is different. It's way different from because you, you actually mess with the music. Yeah, like you young, actually. Yeah, yeah. And that, it like for me, like I remember the first time going to a Jeezy concert, I was hosting, and I just did not know, like you know, I was like, you know, niggas got music, but I was just listening. I'm like, damn, damn, <laughs> another. one. No, no, no. I'm like, hey, bro, Jeezy do got that shit, bro. Yeah, he like, got like shit. I grew up listening to Jeezy. Nah, bro. I know you got some shit. So, yeah, I could see that, but like the show, like, like it's a different energy now. Oh yeah, for the kids and like the people that's coming to these for shows. Sure. You know what I'm saying? For sure. So that's the only difference. But like, like you said, like it's hit after hit after hit with both of them. Nah, facts. So nah, Uzi got his shows be crazy, bro. He front flipping in the crowd. He, he jumping off of shit. Like, bro. How, you, how, how your show? Same. To, same. It's like that? I do the same. And I've been doing this before, like, before I even knew Uzi Vert existed. I've been doing music since I was four years old. Mm. So I've been doing this. You know what I'm saying? And people just now finding out because I be showing the receipts of everything now cuz I'm tired of people being like hey you fine you acting like this bro you acting like no bro I'm being me yeah bro I'm doing I, 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 like you said you are cool to tell like but you got like six pictures on your Instagram <laughs> it's like bro like yeah but I have more I just took it down for the project okay just like, to roll bro, out for the project start talking to the people no bro. I do see that's the thing I talk with Gary V like I I have I do talk to my fans I talk to them on the DM I do talk to them through the comment section but I need to really like do pop-ups and Shit like that and connect with them 
face to face more. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Just to build that forever fan base. Nah, bro, like, this, this is cool, bro. You're a cool ass 42 year old. Like, <laughs> nah, you cool as shit, bro. I feel I like, be, niggas should fuck with you, bro. I be chilling, bro, but people think I'm an asshole. Bro. Nah, I ain't. I'm not an asshole. Nah, Y'all can come bro. talk to me, goddamn. Y'all make that song, not an asshole. Give me like 5%, but it's cool. I, I, <laughs> yeah, I, I fuck you. with you, bro. I got you. Yo, let niggas know how to uh, lock in with you, how to follow you, how to support everything. Man, follow me at Fiji Macintosh. Everything is Fiji Macintosh. My Twitter is Fiji underscore Macintosh. But everything else is Fiji Macintosh. Oh, pre- TikTok is Cyberboy Fiji. If y'all fuck with TikTok, you know. Nah, get on Everybody TikTok, don't man. fuck with TikTok. I need to get on TikTok. I'm slow. But you lit on TikTok right now. I'm, it's funny, I'm not on TikTok. You, and they post your shit. Somebody literally like, bro, like, they stealing they, your shit. No, I swear somebody said, had show me a hashtag or some shit. Like, yeah, bro. Mr. You J. got J. like millions of videos. That shit is crazy. Like <laughs> They still don't my even, shit. That's crazy. I, I did it. I, Yo, it's up there. I, I see you on my explore page, bro. Like on every TikTok? day. No, Instagram oh. and yeah, actually both of them. For my, you, it's different. It's for you on TikTok and it's explore on Instagram. No, nah, I need my But money. I see you on both of them, bro. So if you stealing my shit on TikTok, they stealing your shit on TikTok. Fuck Y'all me. need to. Hey, somebody need to stop that shit. And come talk to the man himself. Uh, facts. Yeah, I but think, no, it was it was a pleasure uh, talking to you, bro. For real, like for whenever sure, for you sure. back in the day, bro, we like to do this more, bro. Let's real. definitely. You do could it. be like a like a a regular, like how uh, Vlad be doing uh, Boosie and yeah. shit. Just pull up, bro. Tell me uh, how, what's going yeah. on in a twenty two year old mind. I need to stay young, bro. I got you, bro. <laughs> you know I got you, bro. <laughs> no, I appreciate sure. it, bro. It's, it's we gonna have love. more to talk about after tour already. For sure. Keep 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 some 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 stories for me. All right. I got you. I'm trying to create an experience right now. I was just talking to my manager about it, like. I'm trying to go full character mode, bro, and like show some people something they ain't never seen from me before. On some like what cyber shit or not even cyber, just like just creating a character, just to have every day that people just see me on tour as oh every show like I'm this one character. Yo, you fuck with uh you, I don't know I might be judging I'm sorry. No no no, no. charge it to the to the yeah, brain not the heart. You good? Bro. You give me like um you like uh what's the cartoon type shit called? What is it? And anime, you like that shit? Y'all fuck with anime. See, I was Heavy, like, you bro. feel me? Like, when you Berserk, judging? One Piece, Death I don't know Note. Nothing. Well, yeah. I'm, and I ain't about to get into that conversation because hey, they're going to kill me on here. Nah, yeah, I'm bro. not they, even they about to do mad. that. Hey, they going to be mad, bro. Nah, I'm not like, even going to do that. Them kids is another level. They I'm report your that. page. And... So when you say character, I'm, I'm a, I swear that first thing I saw, something yeah, like that. But a little bit different. Like, you know, like how Michael Jackson come through. He, he's a character when he comes on stage. He got the suit. He got yeah. the, you know what I'm saying? He look a certain way. You know what I'm saying? You 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 get that experience and you create this image of him in your head forever. Yeah, it's like Brandon. Yeah, yeah. basically. Okay. That's the type of shit I'm going for now. Just I like taking that, it to the next level. Definitely dope person, bro. For real. I, I mean that with my heart. I like nah, it. I appreciate respect. you, bro. For no real. Problem. Anytime, real bro. Shit. Pull up. Like I said, next time, pull up, bro. Give me some tour stories. You feel I me? I got you, bro. I know you can't give me too many toy stories because, you know what I'm saying, but whatever. Sure. He love you. He love you. He love you. <laughs> My guy, Fiji Mac. <laughs> Mr. J. Hill. that one on me. J. Hill Podcast is right. We out, man.